Good morning. It is day six of my seven day series all about Aquarius energy. And today we are talking about the unconventional rebellious nature of Aquarius today. My name is Aubrey and I am the celestial healer. I am a certified light field astrologer and emotion code practitioner. I help women find and trust their authentic self after a toxic relationship. I do so utilizing astrology, your birth chart, and helping you come to know yourself on a divine level. So in coming to know yourself and trust yourself, it also creates a trust within the divinity, within God and source. That is so beneficial to creating the life of your dreams. And so today, or with this seven-day series, we are coming to know our Aquarius energy. Whether or not you have planets within the Aquarius sign um, does not mean you have Aquarius energy, or does not mean you do not have Aquarius energy. Everybody has Aquarius energy in their life, and you can see yours in your natal chart. And so what I want you to do is look at your birth chart and find the house that Aquarius rests in. That is where you will find the unconventional aspects of yourself. That is where you will find possibly even your rebellious nature. That is where you will look to see where your Aquarius energy rests. And Aquarius energy is rebellious by nature in order to bring the future to the present. There is usually an unconventional aspect to it because we as a society with humanity, we don't like change. Overall, most people do not want to shift away from the structured society that we already have. A lot of times it's comfortable. Even if it isn't working, it is comfortable. So shifting um, the, the society can be super duper uncomfortable, such as let's say you're, um, you got a, a tractor. I'm not sure why I'm going down this road, but this is just the image. So you have a tractor that you are utilizing. Let's say you own a farm. You have this tractor outside. Every time you go to turn on the tractor, it sputters, but it doesn't start until you kick the left tire, punch the left rim, and then you can start it. So you have to go out of your way to start it. You've had this tractor for years. It is, it is, it works. And so why get a new tractor? Um, Aquarius energy comes in and it's all like, wow, you have to kick the left tire and punch right there in order to get it to start. Like that just doesn't work for me. And so Aquarius energy will come in and shake up your life in order to help you get a new tractor where as soon as you go out, you can start that tractor and you don't have to kick the tire and punch it and do all you need to do in order to get this tractor to work. So Aquarius energy came in and it broke your tractor completely, which is super duper frustrating and unconventional. And maybe it broke it because it rolled down a hill. I don't know. I don't know what happened to your tractor. I don't know. Maybe a bowl ran it over and stepped on it and just like really like something unconventional occurred that broke your tractor. And then you got a new tractor and that new tractor works beautifully and you like it. However, getting from A to B just wasn't the easiest process. It was not how you would have preferred it to go at all. And so Aquarius energy comes into the picture and says, this doesn't work and creates unconventional means of getting what does work. And it works better than before. And so look within your natal chart, find those unconventional ways your life has shifted within your life. Um, you can also look where Uranus rests within your chart. I know I've said a lot about looking at the house that Aquarius energy sits in. You also want to look at Uranus within your chart. Uranus is that same energy as Aquarius. It is the ruling planet of Aquarius. Look at the house that Uranus sits in. Look at any planets it's aspected to within your chart. And you can even Google, you know, if Uranus is conjunct Saturn, Uranus conjunct Saturn, what does that mean? And you can find a little bit more about your unconventional nature within your natal 
chart. I have released yesterday, I released my seven day series all about finding and trusting your authentic self after a toxic relationship. It is a foundational program where I highly recommend you jump into and begin that process of finding yourself. It is a seven day journal prompt series. I would love to see you in that. You can look within my up above in my, I don't want to say comments, um, where I post who I am. There's a name for that. It's not coming to me. You can find the link up above um, or in the description of this video. Yeah, the description of this channel. You can find the link there. I would love to see you in that seven day series. And I look forward to tomorrow, day seven of seven of our Aquarius energy. And I will see you in 24 hours.